make an opinion. And sometimes in certain moments it can be cruel. And if you look at it from the cruel side, you're always going to see it that way. But if you look at it from another angle, from the artistic, passionate, the beautiful side of it, if you look at the noble fight between a man and an animal just with a piece of cloth, then it can be immensely beautiful. I just want to make sure that his lighting is good. Oh, his lighting is fabulous. Yeah. He's lit from within. That's true, yes. Thank you. You don't tell him what I said. Is everything on schedule? Is that things going well? Yes, now that he's broken my heart, I'm going to get my crying scene. You're crying, I... That's sweet. I am. He's broken my heart. Oh. Is, is the big See, those, those eyes could break anyone's heart. I was feeling a little flutter. Are myself. you falling in love with him, Kurt? <laughs> I like to kind of rub up against him, but I'm cold. So that's that's probably the problem. So am I. Is the love scene coming up soon? Um, actually, we did the love scene already. And that's why I'm crying. Oh, I was see? hoping we could watch. <laughs> Guess we won't be doing that, though. Mm -mm. But what, what is the next thing? Uh, there is no happy ending here. This is all sad, right? Exactly. It's oh. a tragic love story. Entiendes? Oh. No, no. Never. <laughs> never, never. Men don't understand it anyway. It was a fantastic meeting, these two together. It was really cool because it was, uh, they're both in their own worlds. Do you know what I mean? Even though Madonna's world touches all these people, it's it's a bubble. Yeah. You know, I think that because, you know, look at all these people coming around here, you know, just to see her and she can't exactly go out. And his world is very close too. Yeah. And there was a really interesting thing. Um, he, said, uh, he said, well, I'm an artist. I'm not as big as artists as you because I don't like to publicly portray myself and I don't play up to that as much. And she says, well, that's not about being an artist, that's about being ambitious. <laughs> he said, well, then, you make sure, then you're very ambitious. Uh, what uh, have you learned about bullfighting from uh, Emilio? Um, how no dangerous it nada. is. How dangerous it is and how much, what? Que no me entero de nada. No, I'm not going to lie about anything. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Quiero mucho. Quiero mucho. That sounds so great. Yo también. <laughs> okay, I have to go to work, so. Okay, yeah, we'll st stay here and do what we're doing. Mucho besos para ti. Okay. All right, bye. I, I never get a kiss. Are you surprised? Sort of directing one of these videos eventually it seems like a natural thing to do I, I i don't know if i could do that because that's really wearing two hats and if i was behind the camera i'd want to stay be behind the camera <laughs> well, exactly and i don't want to get into an argument with me <laughs> no i just i do really want to direct something but um i think i'd have to concentrate on too many things because it's so different. Do you ever think, like, in 10 years, I'll be doing something completely different, or I'll be directing films? Oh, or... sure. I mean, I <clears throat> change a lot. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, who? I never knew when I was a dancer, and I was completely focused on dancing, that I was going to be a singer. And I never knew when I was writing music that I was going to end up being an actress. You know, and I never, it, one thing just leads to the next. You've always said that I'm not the greatest singer, I'm not the greatest dancer, and yet you have this tremendous effect on people. Well, I mean, technically, I mean, the thing is, what is the greatest singer yeah. and what is the greatest... I mean, I don't think that, you know, being good has anything to do with your octave range or, you know, it's not about technical, it's about... It's about what's in here, it's about being true to yourself and and touching people, you know? It's about emotion, um, being passionate about what you do. Um, I mean, some of the greatest artists in, in the world don't necessarily, as far as singing goes, don't have like what people would call technically yeah. perfect voices, but they come from somewhere deep down inside and they touch people. Right, and the technically perfect people can be terribly boring. Terribly, <clears throat> if that's all one concentrates on. Yeah. You know, if you don't sing from your heart, and you don't mean it, then how can it mean anything yeah. to anyone else? What is this uh, Janet Jackson thing? If she seems to, she came in and vibe and... Dissed me? What is, what is that all about? You know what, I don't know. I read it myself and I'm like, okay, that sounds ominous. <laughs> what did I do? I, I've never met the woman. I don't know anyone she knows. Um, 
I'm mystified. I'm, maybe she'll tell me one day. That's really bizarre. Yes, well, huh. rather transparent, wouldn't you say? I keep on. Having wrapped up shooting here in Spain, Madonna and company gathered together all their little canisters of film and flew back to a stateside editing room to assemble the finished clip. They shot about 60,000 feet of film in Spain, which is close to 10 hours. So it was basically logging 10 hours of film it's an all beautiful film. I mean, it's hard to, usually you have to really search to find moments. This was, there was 10 hours of incredible material, but it's whittling 10 hours into four and a half minutes, and that's been the real challenge. The reason we shot so much, when we were shooting the bullfight, we had to shoot with five cameras, because I can't direct the bullfight, and it's gonna happen when it happens. And we wanted to slow the passes down at a really slow speed. So you have to shoot at 60 frames. And a lot of the footage is just useless, but you don't know when it's going to come. He's walking out slowly towards the bull, slowly towards the bull. You have to keep running just to get that one pass, just to try to slow it. And you have to have different cameras and different angles, because you can't do it again. And it's funny, because the most important thing is the ending, because it is a story. And you can go back and rechange the rhythm and the flow of certain scenes, but the end is the hardest thing to get, because just by changing a s one, no one's talking. So you, you know you have to rely on everyone's body language. By changing the way that someone turns at the end or you know, the way that the matador puts his head down, all of a sudden changes the meaning of the story. is all shot and everything will you show up in the editing room and uh... oh yes <laughs> <laughs> will they be happy to see you coming why not oh. i always have something good to contribute i'm sure you do yeah i mean i think that everybody that I, all the directors i've worked with i think that that they welcome my input and, and there are always people that i know i can collaborate with i mean we have the same vision that's i've never gotten into an editing room and gotten to some screening match you're so in control of when i say you're control freak <clears throat> but you're so control of what you do it's interesting that you give your stuff over to like junior vasquez to remix it and you, right this must be a great sense of trust you have in this guy i, I have a, a huge sense of well i've known junior for years and uh i've worked with him in the studio he's done a lot of remixes for me and as a person he's a Good, he's a good person. I, I adore him and I feel safe. Something's yes, her by herself. Mm -hmm. Something's coming over. That's the double. Mm -hmm. Together, it's just bigger than all the harmonies. This is Dallas's original loop. Mm -hmm. That was Austin who wrote this with Madonna. This is his original loop. And we just added our own loops and our own kick drum and snare, actually based around his loop and hats and stuff. We didn't use any of his drums, just his loop and then the original bass. And then, of course, her. It's amazing. You just send the stuff over and say, do what you will. Yeah, but I wouldn't do that with everybody. It's like, it's a part of me. It's hard for me to let it go to, to someone I don't know, I don't trust, I don't know who they are, but um, I'd certainly do with him. 